Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Richmond, Texas. Richmond is a small town located just southwest of Houston and we are in the Grand Mission Estates. It's a beautiful new neighborhood. Lots of little lakes around here. We're standing in front of 7719 Reflection View. That 7719 Reflection View, a beautiful big five bedroom, four bathroom home, approximately 3,531 square feet, built in 2014. Exterior of this home is mostly brick. There is some beautiful stone accent and some hardy plank. It has a two-car garage and sits on a large 9,900 square foot lot. One of the best things about this home, it's about $36,000 underneath the county appraisal. It's probably the best buy per square footage in this area right now. The home, as you can see, sits in a beautiful neighborhood. It's at the turn of the street, so the front yard is a little bit modest. The backyard is going to be considerably larger. Lots of beautiful landscaping up front. I like how the brick accents around the windows. Exterior-wise really doesn't need anything. Let's look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, we step into the backyard off of a door in your kind of dining room. And as you can see, it has a beautiful covered back patio here. A really good size covered back patio. Pretty basic backyard. No trees. Looks like they probably had some kind of a little um, herb garden here. Definitely enough room if you wanted to come back and put a pool in here. But here's an exterior view. Four sides, brick on the lower half. Up above that there is some hardy plank. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, before we walk in, I just want to point out this beautiful front area, front porch, the stone, the brick. It's a really nice combination. When we step into the home, you'll see it has a very high ceiling, a beautiful chandelier here. Nice railing. We step into your entryway. I, I really like the accented walls. You have rounded corners. To the right here, we have a nice office. These French doors open up into this office space. And as you'll probably see on the floor, it does have wood floors and they're actually in pretty decent shape. They do need a little bit of work, but all in all, they're fairly, fairly good condition. If we turn to the left here and come to the front, we have a bedroom number one downstairs. Good size bedroom. I like the high, uh, the tall oversized doors. I think that's a nice touch. This room needs a little bit of painting and you could probably steam clean the carpet and keep it. Downstairs we have bathroom number one, which is a shower and tub combo and a single vanity. They do have ceramic tile on the floor. Now what I like about this setup is this is com this is good if you have a mother-in-law or an elderly person that's living with you. They have their own full access to their own full bathroom, so that's a nice perk. We have a formal dining room here, really good size formal dining room. I like the crown molding. To the left here we have a little coat closet or a little coat storage area with the little built-in cabinetry there, so that's nice. We have your washer and dryer connections right here inside also. And then we have access into your two-car garage. Now it's a little dark, unfortunately, but it's a basic two-car garage. Not much to see there. We then come around the corner and we are into your main grand room, your main living room. Really high ceilings, crown molding around the top. You can see that they did probably have their TV mounted here because there is evidence of a little bit of sheetrock uh, uh, pieces cut out. It has a beautiful mantle beautiful fireplace i like all of the windows they give you lots of natural lighting throughout the living and kitchen area we then come over to your kitchen it has a huge granite island with your sink it has a gas range which i love it has beautiful tile for your backsplash over here we have your pantry really good sized pantry and then we have really like a breakfast area right here if we turn to the left here, this is where we have bedroom number two or your master bedroom and your master bath. What I like about this room is the really high ceiling. It also has crown molding in here and I, I, really, I really like the, the upgrade of the tall doors. It really makes the room and the whole house feel a lot larger. We come over to your master bath, beautiful master bathroom. It has dual vanities with granite. You have a huge garden tub. And there's the second vanity. We have your water closet here or your toilet. We have your shower with, with kind of a matching uh, tile 
in there that almost matches the kitchen so that's it's a nice touch and then we have your master walk-in closet a very good size master walk-in closet with some built-ins for you know, storing shoes or whatnot and then we have a little linen closet here with some built-in shelves so that is bedroom number two downstairs we'll make our way upstairs to see the additional bedrooms but this home is almost in moving condition i mean it needs a little bit of touch-up paint and maybe clean the floors a little bit but the carpet's not very not particularly dirty so we make our way up the staircase i like the metal balusters and as you can see we are up here high and you have this huge tall ceiling and we come over and we have your second living room or kind of like a little playroom here with a very high ceiling it needs a fresh coat of paint and then you have a media room which is awesome if you like watching movies you have very beautiful media room here a little nook for your electronics needs a little bit of sheetrock work and a little bit of paint we continue down the hallway there's a little nook here maybe a little study area if you wanted to put a little desk there we come up to this front room here and we have what would be bedroom number three I do like the high ceilings in here and uh, another thing this bedroom actually has its full bath here so this is full bath number three and it is a single vanity shower and tub combo in good condition it has ceramic tile on the floor really just needs paint down the hallway here and to the right we have bedroom number four bedroom number four is in decent condition there's a little bit of silly string on the ceiling there but that's pretty minor and then a bedroom number five bedroom number five is in good condition also needs fresh coat of paint and i think you can salvage the floor and then here's bathroom number four so i, I misspoke i said it was a five a five bedroom uh, three and a half bath. there's actually five bedrooms and four baths this bathroom also has a shower and tub combo and it has ceramic tile on the floor and that bathroom would be utilized by these two bedrooms so you actually have this bedroom here which has its own bath so all in all beautiful home as i mentioned it's about thirty-six thousand dollars underneath the county appraisal significant amount of savings for a home of this size in this area probably the best buy in the neighborhood let me give you a summary well there you have it 7719 reflection view that 7719 reflection view a beautiful five bedroom four bath huge 3,500 square foot home that's priced about $36,000 underneath the county appraisal. The list price right now, $295,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King and I want to help you find your castle.